we seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of ourselves and from the consequences of our evil deed. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, today inshallah we will be talking about the month of Al Muharram. In fact, the Arab call it Shahru Rilahi Al Muharram. Uh, we will talk briefly about that and then we will end up our khutbah inshallah about Sobu Yomu Ashura. Uh, one one of the the most blessed month is called Shahar al Muharram. Uh, as you guys know, you know we have four sacred month. They call it uh, Al Ashkur Al Hurm. The whole entire month is belong to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, but these four months it has extra weight in the sight of Allah, meaning. If you do good, the blessing will be increased. But uh, if you do bad, equally so, the sin will be tripled. That's why they call it Ashwa Quran. And this month is Zulqada, Zulhija, Muharram, and so forth. These four months, don't, I mean, it's not good to commit sin in a month. But uh, this month have its extra, you know, uh, significance. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala say in the Holy Quran, "Bada auzu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim inna inta tashshuhuri inna Allahi ithna ashra shahra fi kitab Allah yom ma khalaq al-samawat wal-ard minha arba'atun kurm." ذلك دين القيم فلا تظلموا فيهن أنفسكم. That is Quran uh, chapter nine verses thirty six. When Allah says Subhanahu wa Taala, verily, the number of month with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is twelve, twelve months in the year. So we say it of thee, but Allah on the day. When he created the heaven and the earth, of them four I sacred. That is the right and correct religion. So run not yourself within. Don't run yourself within those months. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his authentic hadith said, uh, this hadith was narrated by Abi Bakr. إن الزمان قد أستدارك هيئته يوم خلق السماوات والأرض السنة إثنى عشر شهرا منها أربعة قرب ثلاث متواليات ذو القادة وذو الهجة والمحرم والصف والرجب المدر الذي بين جمادي وشعبان مني الرسول سيئ في هذا الحديث تان has completed its circle and has returned to its state when Allah had created the heaven and the earth. A year consists of twelve months of which four I sacred. Three of them I consecutive Zul Qada, Zul Hija, Muharram, and Rajab and Rajab or Mudir. The question that one million dollar question that come to our mind uh, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say that we should not wrong ourselves in this month why Allah has said that the, first of all before we answer that question what is called zulm nafs we should not wrong ourselves in Arabic or in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refer to associating partner with Allah as a zulm is a transgression you you like a, you waging war on your very self you, you make it transgression upon your very self so if you commit any kabayah which is the great sin any one of them you commit it is equivalent like a, you have waged war on your very self that is the first thing and again when it, when it comes to this particular verses of the Quran you should not even fight anybody. Don't wage war on anybody. Don't fight nobody. 
don't commit sin. And so we, this particular ayah gave both the meaning. Because these are a sacrament, you know, and then therefore, if it is a sacrament, you should not wage war. You know, Arabs used to fight each other. Even prior to the arrival of Islam, you know, they used to fight each other. But when these four months arrives, they will cease fight. They will not fight again. Despite they were no believer. So when the Islam came, Islam emphasized and Islam recognized it as well. So um, therefore we should respect this month. And then what is the virtue of the Shah Muharram? What is the most important? What makes it so important? Uh, it is one of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that every season, after every season of worship, Allah will bring another season. Meaning, we were in the Ramadan and we talked about how important it is Ramadan. The last 10 days is how important it is. Then upon the completion of Ramadan, we, something we saw ourselves in Zulqadah. We told you that how Zulqada is very, very important as well. And then when we look, we are in Zulhijjah. We told you, we told you that the first 10 days of Zulhijjah is very important because all the pillars of Islam, you find it in the first 10 days of Zulhijjah. There is a prayer, there is a song, the song Yom Arafa, there is a charity or zakat, which is like a sacrifice of our animal. You know, and so on so forth. All these five pillars you can find it in the first ten days. And then upon the completion of the you know the Zul Hijjah, here we are, we are in Zul I mean Muharram. And we're telling you all that the Muharram it is the, one of the sacred months of the year. And besides that, this this the ten days of uh, Muharram it is very important as well because they uh, uh, I call it this month is for this month it consists of a al ashura the ashura for in the first 10 days of al muharram so that make it very very important and you know there is a so many narration you know in the hadith that uh, telling us how important is muharram and you know particularly yom ashura and this month, this Shahr al Muharram, this is the month that Allah, you know, uh, you know, Allah gave the victory to Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam against the Pharaoh. This month, that is the month that Allah gave the victory to Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam when the Pharaoh, he was a terror, he was, uh, you know, killing people, killing the Jewish people. You know, any young man born, he will kill them. But then when they born a girl, he will, you know, leave them. So in short, Allah has sent a message to Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam to leave Egypt and proceed to what is called right now Israel. And uh, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, you know, he was on his way going to uh, uh, Israel. And then Pharaoh heard about the story, oh, Sayyidina Musa, he left with the Jewish people and they are going to Israel. So Pharaoh took his battalion, his soldiers, and they started chasing them. In short, uh, this is a hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, he, you know, when the Asur, the Pharaoh, I mean, Sayyidina Musa and his people crossed the river, the Pharaoh and his people, they were still chasing them. Subhanallah. This is a curse. You know, when the curse follow you, no matter what happened, you can't see, you can't hear. This never happened in the history of the mankind. That Allah has split the river into two. People who even see each other. The Jews, they were walking, crossing, and going to Israel. And according to some rewire, they were even dusty. Can you imagine this? The river, the Atlantic Ocean, for example, is split into two. And then the Sidna Musa and his followers, they were crossing and go and go. So if, if, if not a curse, if Firaun see that, or any one of us see that for the first time, then I would, if that me, I would go by. But because the curse was following him, so he insisted, he said, yes, I will chase them, pursue them, I will, I will chase them, I will go kill all of them. So when he reached to the middle of the river, what Allah had, Allah had covered it off with, and then he got killed, he and his people. 
this is the authentic, this is the only reason that we have. Even though there is some rewire, the people say so many things. But this is what came in the hadith of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Why we are fasting Yom Ashura? Because when they asked Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in fact, Rasul came to Medina. When he came to Medina and he saw the Jews people are fasting Yom Ashura. As a matter of fact, the Yom Ashura that we need to fast, like the Imam rightly put it before I started Qutbah, they're going to fall on Friday. This coming Friday, we admonish, we encourage everybody to fast that day. And then, but there is another rewire. When they ask Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rasul say, if I live to next year, I will fast the nine, which will be Thursday. So we are encouraged to fast the nine day. And then after the nine day, you come to the ten. That is Ashura, that's a mean day. But fasting, you know, like on the night, it is recommended as well. So there is so many wire which I don't have a concrete evidence for it. Some people say that this Yom Al Ashura it is very important because this is the day that Allah has accepted the Tawbah of Adam, our father Adam alayhi salam. Some people say that. Some people say this is the day Allah had when Satan Ibrahim alayhi salam, when Namru, the king of uh, uh, Iraq, at that time, when he took Tadi Satan Ibrahim and had a blaze, huge fire, and then they couldn't even take Satan Ibrahim and put in the fire. They have to put him in the and chuck him in there. So when what Allah did, Allah has said, Kuni Bartan was Ibrahim. Satan Ibrahim was in the fire, the fire didn't burn him. So some people say that event, that history happened on Yom al Ashura. Some people say this is the day that Satan Musa and Ibrahim birthday. They were born on that day. Alright? Some people say this is the day when they say uh Abnau Yaqub, Satan Yaqub, you know, Satan Musa, I mean, uh, Satan Yusuf brothers, they put him in the well. That is a day that Allah has rescued him from that well and nothing happened to him. There is so many narrations. But the authentic one is the day Allah saved Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam when he was running from Fir'aun to go to what is called right now Israel or Palestine. Like I said, you know, when Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to Medina, Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa Medina, he saw the Jews I, you know, fasting this day. So Rasul asked them, why are you fasting this day? So they said, oh no, this is a, a big day for us, we the Jews people. Because this is the day our Prophet Musa alayhi salam was rescued, rescued this day. So anytime this day reached, we celebrate it and then we fast. So Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa said, we belong to Sayyidina Musa more than you. Because we, as a Muslim, we follow all the prophets that pass. So therefore, Rasul asked, you know, he said that I will fast this day, and then I'm asking my followers to fast this day. Having said that, we have come to the first break. Barakallahu li wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Kareem wa fi sunnat al-Nabihi al-Mutakhara wa ja'ala li wa iyaakum mimman yastamun al-Qawla wa yastamun al-Ahsan. الحمد لله وكفى وصلاة وسلام على نبيه المصطفى. Brothers and sisters, back to our topic again. Yom Ashura is a very important day. You know, Sayyidina Musa used to fast this day. And Ahl al-Kitab, the Jews and the 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 Christian, they used to fast this even before the arrival of Islam. Even al-Kufar Quraysh. Even the non-believers in Mecca or in Hijaz, they used to celebrate this day, they used to observe this day, in a time this day reached. So that means they came from a long way, all the way down. You know, despite the Kufar Mecca, they were not Muslim, but there were so many Abrahamic culture, it was still existing among them. So many things. They used to, you know, uh, welcome the Hujaj, they used to do so many things, they were observing this day as well. So this is one of the important things about it. And there is a gentleman who asked Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about the Yom al-Ashura. Rasul said, I pray, you know, the reason, the blessing of Ashura, Allah will forgive, Allah will expire your sin that you committed last year. 
whatever sin you committed last year, Allah will forgive it because you fast Yom Ashura. That is the blessing of Yom Ashura. And like I said, the main reason of Yom Ashura because Allah has rescued Sayyidina Musa and the Pharaoh, I mean, and his followers from the Pharaoh, you know, Allah and Allah. And you know, when you know, there was a two different history happened at this day. The same day Pharaoh was chasing Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, that is the same day of Ashura, a Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa migrated, was running from Mecca to Medina. And then the, what happened again? Co by coincidence, Sayyidina Musa, the Jewish people, you know, rushed to him. When they saw the Pharaoh and his soldiers are coming, they said, Oh my God, you know, Pharaoh, I mean, Sayyidina Musa, you told us that Allah were you. So look at now, the people are going to come kill us. You know, that's a human nature. People do that. When they saw this man coming, and then this man is, is someone who can kill people, Sayyidina Musa said, Bakala in the Maya Rabbi. He said, No, don't relax. My Lord, my God is with me. You know. And this Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he and Bakar were in Garo Hira, when we were in the cave, and then the, the Quraysh was chasing them, they went as closer. And Ibrahim, I mean, uh, Abu Bakar said that any one of them who look down on their toe, they will see us. But Rasul told him, Relax, my God is with me. So Allah has protected them and nothing happened to them. But this Ma'iyah, they say, What is the type of Ma'iyah? Ma'iyah, you know, to be with Allah. We are here now, we will say we are with Allah. And that's something obvious. We know that we are with Allah. But one of the Ma'iyah is called Ma'iyah Am. That is Allah with everybody. Okay? And the second one is Ma'iyah Hafa Bi Wasu. You know, that means you, you, you get some kind of charismatic in you. So Allah is with you all the time. And then another one is called Ma'iyah Hafa Bi Shafi. In some people Allah have with them because and this happened to only two people in this world since the creation of the mankind of the now is Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Okay, and then uh, the Imam was talking about and then we, we talk about you know the fasting. In Ulama they have uh, so many you know four different I mean, three different ideas. One of them say that you know the one of the reasons that the best thing we're supposed to do is to fast the nine and the ten. This is the best one among all of them. So, meaning this coming Thursday, you should fast Thursday, you should fast a Friday. This coming Thursday and Friday, try to do everything possible and fast. This is the best the idea. Because Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when they asked him Abu Hasura, he said that, you know, kafir and the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that is our 